everyone, Amy here from Dayton Nursery in Norton, but today I am not in Norton. I am in the next town over in Wadsworth, Ohio, and there's something very beautiful I'd like to show you. So right here in the city of Wadsworth, there is a brand new tropical oasis, and it is all thanks to my friend and my neighbor, Zach. Zach, come on in here. So you wanted to bring a little sense of the tropics to those that unfortunately could not travel over the last year. Tell me a little bit about uh, why you decided to do this this year. I figured with COVID and everything going on in the world right now, not everyone's able to get out of town. So why not bring the tropics to Wadsworth? Come downtown, enjoy the tropical atmosphere, the beautiful plants that you don't get to normally see. Just a little step outside the world that we live in every day. Absolutely. What a great thing you did for the community and all the residents of the city of Wadsworth. So you're probably wondering who grew all these plants. Well, at Dayton Nursery, we did not. But actually the VP of Operations here, Colton from Blooming Acres in Wadsworth did. Now you may think, but you two are competitors. Well, the gardening industry, we actually think of it more as a family. We all work together. We all have the same trials and tribulations. So we actually need each other. So Colton, tell me a little bit about uh, your business and how you grew and, and chose all these plants for this garden. We had a lot of help collaborating with Zach in choosing the plants. Like he said, he wanted to bring a tropical oasis to Wadsworth. Uh, we grew them. We start on week one. We grow everything from tiny plugs, um, everything from proven winter material to Duman material to Syngenta. Sun patients do great in all environments. We, uh, we start everything when they're from plugs about that big uh, over at Blooming Acres in Wadsworth. Uh, we've been around for 31 years. Started by my grandfather and then continued on by my father and his sister and then continued on with my family and we still run it today. So at Dayton Nursery, I think we are kind of two similar businesses, but we grow different things. I think we're more into perennials and trees and shrubs where you definitely have a lot of annuals and you're really good at hanging baskets. Yeah, we do love our 12-inch uh, our trimmed hanging baskets. We grow them perfectly globally. That's kind of our pride and joys. And like you said, in the nursery business, I love that we're all co-workers and, and instead of competitors, we all help each other out, give each other pointers, and we all share ideas, we all share customers, and we all share uh, you know, tips and tricks and a love for plants. Absolutely. Okay, Zach, it's your turn again. Would you like to take us on a little tour, maybe of your favorite plants you planted here? Absolutely, follow okay. us. All right, come on. Okay, so we're starting here in the northwest corner where I think Zach picked out his favorite plants of the entire garden here. We've got some three-year-old banana trees that we've been wintering over in the greenhouse every year. We bring them back out. This year we even got fruit on all of the bananas downtown. Down here by the flagpole downtown, every single year I use this diamond frost euphorbia. I absolutely love it. Everyone always uses it in planters, but when you stick it in the ground, I can get it to three feet tall easily, and it's just the most amazing filler plant. Most people, when they think of impatience, always think of shade under a tree, somewhere up against a house. And this variety of impatience is called a sun patient by Cicada. They are absolutely wonderful in full sun. Um, they are also accented by sweet potato vine, this variety called the marguerite, which is super vigorous, gives a nice loud green backdrop for the sun patients and the euphorbia to grow against. Um, if you come down and look at the, the different colors, you get some really nice pastel varieties in the sun patient series, and they give just the right height. Another great thing about the sun patients is the versatility from sun to shade. You can grow these things in just about any lighting. They will thrive. They have beautiful color. You can see here, these are in part sun and they just filled out really nicely, giving everything a nice pastel canvas, paint on the canvas. A wonderful little crowning jewel of our gardens downtown is these amazing Christmas palms that Colton gets in every year at Blooming Acres. This guy's three years old also. Surrounded by a bunch of our wonderful lantana, bringing all of the butterflies, the flora, the fauna, the wonderful fragrance to downtown. One of my very favorite plants in the garden this year are the Harry Balls milkweeds. And just a fun little story about them. Uh, the first year that I received these as a gift from Amy from Dayton's, she handed two little plants over the fence to me. 
that were started from seeds by her mother. I stuck them in the ground, absolutely fell in love with them. The height, the flower, they have this gorgeous little pendulous orchid-like flower on them. They get these wonderful, amazing, huge seed pod balls. She handed them over the fence, I grew them, I fell in love, we took the seed pods, and now they're all over downtown. And we particularly love these because the monarchs love them. They are part of their life cycle. The caterpillars will live on here, munch them up, uh, turn into chrysalis, and turn into beautiful monarch butterflies. So the garden extends far beyond the gazebo garden, actually, to other parts of the square here. Zach, tell us about this little nook. This is an amazing combo with the giant penicetum, the purple grasses, we've got yellow cannas, the medusa sweet potato vines, and more of the hairy balls milkweeds. The height is phenomenal, the color contrast is just right, and on this beautiful corner downtown, the wind catches it, so this bed is always dancing. So of course we had to decorate City Hall here. More sun patience, beautiful cannas, and some more bananas. Cannas on bananas. We have the, uh, I think this is called candy stripe variety of sun patience. They're absolutely gorgeous with these sunset toucan cannas. We also have got more of these three-year-old banana trees that we've been wintering over every year. And this set right here has actual yellow bananas on them. They're so plantain size. They're not like a full-size banana, but I've never seen them go yellow before. Especially in Ohio. Especially in Ohio. Thank you guys so much for walking around our gardens with us today. Thank you, Amy and Dayton Nurseries for coming down with us. Thank you, Colton from Blooming Acres. Thank you guys for watching. It's been awesome. And we'll talk to you sooner than later. Bye guys. Okay, so I made it back to the nursery. I again wanted to thank Colton and Zach for their wonderful tour of the gardens they built just for the community and just for the city of Wadsworth. They did a terrific job. They grew everything over the winter, planted it, and still maintain it. You know, it kind of gave me an idea. I think maybe that's something we should do here at Dayton's. I'm gonna look into the city of Norton and see if there's a spot that maybe we could adopt to take care of next year for our community right here in town. And if you like this video, and if you like content like this, and community, community projects, please let me know in the comments below. If you'd like more videos from us, all I ask for you to do is hit that subscribe button. We'll see you next time, bye-bye.